Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by today's video. On this video, I'm going to show you my most recent fix and flip project that I just got done with. In total, this project took about three and a half months from start to finish, from the time I purchased it to the time that I would close on it. But to give you the rough numbers, I bought this house for $250,000, put about $35,000 into the remodel, and with realtor, closing costs, and holding costs, I'm in about $15,000 on that. So all in another $50,000 on top of my purchase price of $250,000, putting us right at $300,000. So when I bought the home, all the comps in the area supported a $340,000 resale, which I would have been happy with. Given the market that we're in right now, I knew that there was going to be a bidding war at that price point because you can't find a three bed, two bath under that price. So I didn't buy the house with the intention of, or the thought that I would resell it for more anyways, but luckily that's the position that I'm in right now. So I listed the house for $340,000, generating a ton of showings within the first two days. By three days in, I had 10 total offers all above asking, and I accepted one at $375,500. I'm very fortunate that the house came back with an appraisal of $375,500, or as is, at value. I'm reselling at $375,500, and I'm all in at $300,000. That's $75,500 in three and a half months. That's a gross profit, I'll still pay taxes, but that'll be a year from now, and I'll roll this into another flip in the future. I know I'm going kind of fast. I just want to make a quick video for you guys since I have it in a few weeks. Um, this project took up a lot of my time along with my realtor business, and that's another note to make. Fortunately, I have my license, so I was able to list my own house and represent myself, saving half of the realtor commission, which is about $9,000 on this house. Those of you thinking about getting into fixing and flipping houses, I would highly recommend getting your license. There's a lot of benefits, and in my experience, not a lot of cons. Let's get into this tour. I'm gonna to show you guys exactly what I did and try and find some clips of the remodel during and that way you can kind of see uh, what the house looked like beforehand. All right, everyone, here we go. I'm back at my home office now. I figured I would turn this into a uh, kind of cut commentary to voice over the clips that I have of the house um, to go with the before and afters. So I'm gonna do my best to walk you through the project here, let you know what I did. As you can see, the biggest the change in the house right now is the kitchen. So got all new kitchen cabinets, quartz countertops. Um, beneath it is a brand new laminate flooring. Uh, top to bottom, this house got torn apart and redid. So it was a very big cosmetic job, but fortunately not a lot of structural um, things going on here. So you'll see there was one wall that we ended up removing. Um, but other than that, there was nothing uh, too major on this house. So that's fortunate. A lot of these times, um, you know, when you're doing these fix and flips, things can pop up, but on this one, luckily nothing uh, was too surprising. So this is a real wood burning stove. I ended up keeping cause it was certified. Just pa painted that brick there. And uh, you're, you'll see this wall here that I'm talking about. Um, and if you notice too, the kitchen didn't actually have a dishwasher beforehand right next to that fridge. So just uh, moved some space over on those cabinets and made room for one. Cause obviously that is very essential in a home. So there's that wall I'm talking about, completely cut off the living room to the kitchen. So uh, 2020, 2021 standards, open concept, everybody wants it. So I uh, had to make that happen. Um, but yeah, once again, house pretty much got revamped from top to bottom. Uh, new floors, exterior and interior paint, doors, uh, pretty much as far as you can see, everything is new. Um, went ahead and did tile floors on these bathrooms and tile walls on this one as well. So the comps actually didn't call for me to do tile. I only did that as a bonus, I guess, and a chance to take uh, for appraisal value because I figured I'd be getting above asking. So I went ahead and did that and just kind of took the chance and hoped that that would help my value uh, when it came time for the appraisal. And fortunately, as you heard, it did. I ended up with a $375,500 appraisal. And that is actually the most expensive house on my neighborhood. The closest house to me on, down the road just sold for 362.5. So, um, you know, that's a that's a big win in my book. Here is bedroom number one. Um, this actually was already demoed when I bought the house, so I think they were doing some sort of you know home renovation themselves. Um, but yeah, bedrooms nothing too fancy. Obviously, just got the same flooring. Uh, baseboard trims and uh, all new windows closet doors lighting you know the whole nine so these bedrooms aren't massive um, where I'm located in Oregon 
a three bed, two bath right now is going for around 375, which is insane, but um, that's kind of just where I'm at. So here is the master. Um, as you can see, it's not huge. Just like I said, the other bedrooms, this house is right around 1,250 square feet. So that's why the remodel, if you're wondering how did you get away with $35,000 remodel, the materials needed for this house were so little because it's such a small house. And obviously again, with a three bed, two bath, it takes a lot less time. So I was able to get a very good deal with the contractor that I had been working with previously. Um, and that's kind of my tip to you guys is when you're dealing with contractors, let them know that this is your business. This is uh, you know what you do. And if they are helpful with you, you can keep putting them to work. And uh, that's a big game changer, I think. So you'll see this master bath here uh, is a big change. Used to have a big enclosed shower right there, um, which obviously was a no-go. It was very dark. There was no light in there. Uh, and the plumbing was actually on the other wall. So you'd be facing uh, backwards right now. And so, yeah, just uh, tore that out. Did a new stand-up shower. That's a 60 inch pan. And that was originally going to be tile as well, but um, this shower was actually in stock at the local material store that I go to. So I went ahead and just changed that uh, halfway through, saved time and money. So ended up really nice anyways. And uh, yeah, completely changed the master bedroom and the master bath, which obviously is uh, the key points to look for in the house or where you put your money, right, is in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. So. Uh, big resale points for buyers is the kitchen and the baths. So again, just kind of a another tip just to where you put your money and there's me. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, style with the split side by side comparison. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the video and I hope you guys enjoyed once again and I'll see you next time. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope that this kind of gives you a better idea of what I do for work. Again, if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm a real estate agent. Started out as an investor with fix and flip properties when I was 21 years old. So this is property number four for me. I'm doing super well so far. I'm averaging about $60,000 in gross profit a deal. Um, this one again, very fortunate that I was able to get above asking as much as I did, uh, creating a $75,000 gross profit for me. Um, again in three months time that's pretty good so if you're interested in this leave a comment let me know if you're interested in fixing flips let me know if you have any questions for me i'd be happy to answer them or get in contact with me um, hit the subscribe button for more content of course and uh, yeah i'm gonna make this video wrap it up here and i will see you guys in the next one